Hey guys, Ben here, 3dgladiator.com and in this tutorial I will begin adjusting the ZBrush workspace starting with a fresh installation and the default layout. So first let me expand this left tray here and I drag and drop the preference palette to the right and I choose a primitive, draw it on the canvas, enter the edit mode here, make it a poly mesh 3D, enable the poly frame and go to the uh, geometry sub palette. And as you can see, a lot of the settings are organized in these uh, little sub menus here. I prefer to have all the functions in each uh, sub palette available straight away. So for this reason, I go to the preference tab, interface, scroll down to user interface groups and disable these groups. What this does is uh, it um, gets rid of these sub menus and makes the settings available without having me clicking through uh, each menu. I think it's still quite organized. Okay, then what I would also like to show you is how to open multiple sub palettes at the same time. By default, if you click on the title, it opens up the sub palette. If you click on another title, it closes uh, the previous one and opens the current one. If you shift click on the title, you can open multiple sub palettes simultaneously. So whenever you click on a title without holding shift again, it closes all the others and only the one you have just clicked on remains open. If you prefer to keep these uh, sub palettes open by default, go to the interface sub palette and disable this one open sub palette. So now I can click through the titles and the sub palettes remain open. So in this case, you also have to close them manually by clicking on the title. And for this reason, I prefer to keep this uh, feature or keep this function enabled. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the other settings in the interface sub palette and I start with the button size first. So um, basically what this does is it controls the size of the icons here. I usually leave it at the default value of 38 and it only makes sense to change it if you work on a very large screen with a very high screen resolution. So if you set it to something else in 38, ZBrush comes up with this message here that the user interface will be adjusted the next time you start ZBrush. Um, I leave it at 38 and move on with this white buttons here. That's something I always disable. So uh, what it does is if you look at the um, brush icons see in the left tray, while I'm disabling it, you will see that the icons become smaller. Uh, actually, they do not become smaller. They just become narrower, but that's still allows me to save some screen space so I make sure that this function is disabled. Uh, show values, that's a very important one. Uh, always enable it, it shows the, the values of the sliders here. Auto hide 2D tools, that can be also found in the tool palette. If you click on the tools you will see that it is located also here and what it does is it hides the two and a half D brushes, so in case you never use them, you can hide them here. Then let's take a look at this accelerated button that's activated by default. And what it does is it speeds up the, the scroll movement. So if it is disabled and I scroll up and down, you can see that by moving the cursor up and down, the scroll is pretty slow and by having this accelerated activated the, the scroll is a lot faster and allows me to scroll through a lot of interface items very quickly so i always leave it on this open and close duration is a, a funny one if i set it to to one you can control basically the opening and closing animation speed. So if I uh, close this uh, sub palette here, you can see that it slowly opens and closes. And because I'm not a great fan of the interface animations, I move it to zero. So the uh, menu pops up right away whenever I click on the title. Rotate speed and scale speed affect how fast you can rotate and zoom a model on the canvas. So if I increase both values here, you can see that rotation becomes a lot faster and scaling becomes a lot faster or zooming becomes a lot faster too. 
So whenever you find yourself in a situation where um, rotation and zooming feel a little bit too slow, you can adjust the values here. I usually keep them at the default of 1.5 for both. Right-click navigation, that's uh, also enabled by default. I disable it and what it does is it's an alternative uh, way to zoom in and zoom out. So you can um, control click and keep control click and right click and by hovering over um, the tablet, in case you use a tablet, you should always use a tablet in ZBrush. By hovering over the tablet and having these two buttons clicked, you can zoom in and zoom out. I still prefer the old way by uh, clicking Alt and letting Alt go and um, moving the cursor up and down to zoom in and some zoom out. And the last two things I would like to point out here is this fade in duration and this morph UV timer. So what this fade in duration does is it controls um, the fading in animation uh, when you start uh, ZBrush. So you have probably noticed that when you start the application, it slowly fades in. In this case, for half a second, you can set this uh, fading into two seconds. And again, I prefer no uh, fancy interface animations and I move the slider to zero. Um, the Morph UV timer controls the transition between the 3D model and the UV layout. So if I go to UV map here and click on Morph UVs, you can see that it um, transforms the uh, 3D model into the 2D UV layout. And by changing the value here, you can speed up or slow down the animation. I do not move it to zero. I usually leave it at 0.5 to speed up that transition a little bit so I can still see um, where each UV shell belongs. When you are done with the adjustments, don't forget to save the changes so the settings are still there when you close and start ZBrush the next time. Basically, you have two options here. When you open the uh, config sub palette, in the preference tab, you will find two buttons. One is called store configuration and the other one save user interface. They both create a configuration file with a CFG ending. When you click on store configuration, it overrides the configuration master file directly in the ZBrush startup folder. If you are working on a Windows machine, the file is usually located under C, users, public, public documents, C data 2018 startup. It is this one, custom user interface 2018.cfg. If you click on save a user interface, you can pick any location on your hard drive to save the configuration file. All right, that's all for the first part. In the next part, I take a look at the interface colors and some of the document settings. So see you in the next video.